The tourism industry is worst hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. That's true. Besides travel restrictions, the travel community don't feel safe traveling anymore. To revive and restore the confidence of the traveling community, Gogi Africa has embarked on capacity building, training and networking in collaboration with organizations that are passionate about development of tourism and local communities in Nigeria and Africa. My name is Meche Isaac Moses. And I am Neka. Stand by now for Gogi Africa NLNG Tourism Training. Take it away. In mid-February, 20 youths from Bonny Island arrived in Lagos for an intensive training program on tourism. It was the first step in an ongoing effort to reposition Bonny Island as a must-visit destination in Nigeria's Niger Delta region because of its rich and inviting cultural and natural heritage. On this episode, we take you on a journey through the many high points of the training which ran for a fortnight. Now, let's go. The training started with an ongoing ceremony attended by senior officials of the sponsors, the Nigeria LNG. They included Director, Sustainability and Community Relations, Mr. Gutson Dienia, and General Manager, External Relations, this is Ayano Fatai Williams. Also present were the Permanent Secretary of the Lagos State Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Princess Adenike Adedoyi Ajayi. The special guest restated the important role of domestic tourism to any country's GDP. They encouraged the trainees to take the opportunity provided by the training seriously and learn from the array of professionals assembled for both the classroom and experiential session. Working with the company we consider reputable in the tourism space with Bogey Africa, a nationally and continentally recognized tourism brand, we in Nigeria LNG are confident that this training will be a solid first step in the actualization of our tourism master plan. Our expectation this morning is that you young men and women will see in Bonny what somebody saw in Dubai and today we all spent money to go there. You are young, your minds are creative, can do anything you want to do, and I hope that you will not let this opportunity go without cashing in on it. Goge Africa invited us as the host um, city for their training. They're facilitating training for the tourist space, tourism space. And so, um, because they know that um, Lagos State has been the center of excellence, and Lagos State having established tourism, arts and culture as well, I thought it was important to have us here um, as the host community to welcome all the participants who incidentally are from Bonnie Kingdom. And so I think it's a very good idea for them to have been brought out of their normal, usual environment to see things, you know, even beyond what they are used to. And they can take that back when they um, start off with whatever it is that they want to do for Bonnie and River State and when they go back. So it's very important and coming to Lagos is very significant. We have a lot of tourism sites, heritage, monuments and all of that. So I'm sure that for experiential purposes, it will be fantastic for them. Two of the trainees spoke on behalf of the others, thanking the sponsors and promising to make the most of the opportunity. I am very grateful, first of all, to God Almighty who made it possible for me to be one of the participants. 
We went through a rigorous screening process and I'm lucky to be here. I'm grateful and very happy. So it's been an awesome experience since we got here since yesterday. The warm hospitality, both from Gogay Africa. We're being kept in a nice place and uh, have some um, representative from LNG, the permanent secretary of uh, Lagos Tourism was here with us. So it's nice, it's beautiful. So we learned a lot uh, in the course of this training. And I believe that at the end, we are going to be good tourism entrepreneurs. We are going to do our best to develop our dear Bonnie Kingdom to be a tourist center for the world to see that what we go to Dubai to enjoy, we can enjoy it here, even in Bonnie Kingdom. I am very grateful for being um, in this um, tourism training. Um, tourism is something I've been connected with for a while, but um, it's uh, very amazing that I have the opportunity and the chance to be in a formal setting, a proper training, a certified training, and um, capacity building, I would say. That's the intriguing thing about it, because for me, it's all about building on what I already have and doing more. So I'm very grateful to the sponsors, Nigeria LNG, to our facilitator, um, Gogi Africa, to our dear kingdom, the Boni Kingdom, His Majesty the King and his chiefs. I'm very much open-minded about the training to learn everything I can learn and um, see what I can use that knowledge for to reproduce. Mr. Major Isaac Moses, the Chief Executive Officer at Gogi Africa Worldwide Limited also made a statement. The training, he said, was to address the needs of Nigeria's tourism aspirations sector, as well as help show up the human capital deficit in the sector. The essence of this gathering is to build capacity. We've always wanted to build capacity to get um, industry practitioners and new entrants into the industry ready for the 21st century digital tourism system. And that's why we have put this together, and uh, graciously we have great partners and the people of um, the LNG, Lagos State Government, will be represented here by Marcel. And to you guys here, great body news. I believe those of you who are here today are successful once more, and uh, I'd like to say a big congratulations to you, and um, to also let you know that the cost models for today and throughout this lecture series has been carefully put together to give you the cutting edge you need to be a tourism entrepreneur. The training started soon after the ceremony, and for the next five days, the trainees sat through courses on hospitality and interpersonal skills, rudiments of ecotourism, tour packaging and marketing, becoming a tour guide, English for tourism purposes, social media and destination marketing, financial literacy for entrepreneurs, and travel slash tourism photography to mention just a few. My name is Ekaite Augustine Edet, and I just facilitated a class in the Gogay Tourism on Introduction into Hospitality. We all know that the sector is called travel, tourism, and hospitality. Hospitality plays a very important role in tourism. When you move from one location to the other, you need a place to lay your head, you need a place to eat, and that's where hospitality comes in. So today, I did a training on hospitality to introduce the participants into the hospitality sector. It is important that we train people that are coming into this sector, because what we have now is just a, an all-commerce affair where people just come in and they run in the industry without giving proper training to staff, without building capacity. So today, we try to build capacity. We introduce the participants of the hospitality sector and the characteristics of the sector. And I'm sure that with further training, these people that participated today will be able to play in this sector effectively. Hi, my name is Fuke Medu, and I facilitated the financial literacy for entrepreneurs session for the Gogi Africa Tourism Training. What I discovered with my session was that it was very interesting. We use everyday uh, relatable examples. We broke it down and we made them to understand why they needed to, you know, understand that 
parts, you know. Um, finance accounts is a language of business, so people don't need to shy away from it. And, and they saw the importance of trying to understand that, so that when they are discussing with the subject matter experts, maybe the accountants in their firms, they can engage them, at least. They understand their books. We also spoke about funding, funding opportunities available to them. We also looked at, you know, taxes, different taxes that are applicable at the federal level, the state government level, and, you know, and then we had an exercise from the Unibu, from the HP Life side, which was very, very practical, fun to do. And overall for me, it was an exciting class. My name is Ibiso Harry Bristol. I am one of the participants in Ugoje Africa Stroke NLNG training. My expectation in this training is that at the end of the day, my capacity as well as the capacity of co-trainees would be deepened and then we are going to acquire the knowledge and expertise on how to manage and run the tourism, the tourism potential of Bonnie Kingdom. So we are very grateful to be here. We are grateful to Nigeria NLNG. We are also grateful to Goje Africa, the contracting firm that is responsible for our training. Then we are also grateful to the King of Bonnie, the traditional institution as well as the entire community for being chosen to represent the island. First of all, I want to thank the Almighty God. I want to thank the Amayambo and Council. I want to also thank NLNG for the privilege of bringing us here for this training. I want to also especially appreciate Goge Africa for the content, for the packaging, for the arrangement, for the logistics so far in this program. It has been, it has been worthwhile. This um, training I really brought out so much light and we and we're going to utilize it. We're promising you we're not going to sit back and go back and sit for our hands. We're going to go back and do a lot of work. We need a, a lot of work needs to be do needs to be done. We need to synergize together as a team, work together and we also work with and then we also meet with his majesty and know his plan so that we can integrate it to our own package and know how to lead move money to the next level in the area of tourism. Midway into the training schedule, the trainees paid a cost call on the Permanent Secretary of the Lagos State Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture at the Secretariat in Alausa. Also in attendance were directors and heads of departments in the ministry. Um, the um, organizers of the Africa I put a lot of thought into this and the most that we can do is to also support them because it is something that is our mandate. And if you all go back being able to get all of the learnings that they're giving you, you can make Holy Kingdom a place to be. The officials explained how Lagos State drives its tourism and how tourist sites, monuments and attractions have been dutifully documented over the years. We also have in the Department of the Research and Development, we have tourism research, monitoring and evaluation, physical development and land management, strategy and development. So the traditional one is in tourism, research, which is about carrying out research with a view to discovering and developing tourism potentials in the states. Since when we came, we was uh, seeing some of our monuments, there's some strategic uh, locations around the world, especially in Ethiopia. We have them in all the um, geopolitical divisions of Lagos State. We have five, we call them the Gile. All these monuments uh, we are established by law and we call them preservation law. The first week of the training closed with a masterclass on innovation for the 21st century tourism entrepreneur. Competently delivered by Google Africa's managing director, Mrs. Neka Isaac Moses. She shared inspiring stories about how the brand 
has evolved from its days of little beginnings some 21 years ago to the successful and celebrated cultural institution that it is now. When my husband took me to this Google business, I didn't even know we were about to become an entrepreneur or entrepreneur. We just felt the need to do something that we would like and make money from it. You are dabbling in the dark, dropping in the dark, doing everything with your native sense. Do that kind of thing. When the grace of God comes upon you, you feel like that's what you need to do. But for you, life has changed. It's more competitive now. You cannot rely on native sense in those and just pray for God's grace in those. You have to be deliberate. What did I say? And you have to be strategic. <laughs> The training shifted gear to experiential mode in week two, when the trainees were exposed to practical tourism in both Badagri and Ekwe divisions of Lagos State. The team explored Badagri through walking tours, sightseeing excursions, and visits to some of the must-see visitor landmarks in the historic town. Here, they learned more about the nuts and bolts of tour operation and management. Where we are is called Vlekete Slave Market. Vlekete, V-L-E-K-E-T-E. Vlekete, Vlekete Slave Market. In this market, many years ago, they were not buying yam, tomatoes here. They were buying and selling human beings. And at the back there is the family compound. And it was the government who carved this particular part out. All the compounds at the back of this site were not there at that time. They were part of the market where they were buying and selling human beings. Of course, they also relished the local cuisine. And at the end of the first evening, the special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Tourism, Arts and Culture, Mr. Solomon Bonu, paid the group a visit. He conveyed greetings and well wishes from His Excellency, Mr. Babajide Sangwulu, while also explaining plans by the state to develop the tourist assets in Badagri and Lagos State as a whole. Good evening, this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, he said I should greet you and welcome you formally to Badagri. Badagri is cradle of civilization in Nigeria. This is where Nigeria started from. The first primary school in Nigeria is in Badagri. The first story building in Nigeria is in Badagri. The first Christmas uh, event took place in Badagri. So you are highly welcome. Feel at home. Uh, I just uh, have to tell you that Mr. Governor is in support of what you are doing. After a scenic and enjoyable two hour boat ride on the Lagos Lagoon, the trainees arrived at a well appointed resort in the Akwe division of the state the Lakampai and Tropicana Beach Resort. It was at this resort that they shared their individual preferences across the tourism spectrum. So far, the journey has been so wonderful. I've been so 
um, immense, knowing that tourism is very broad. And with all the teachings I've gotten from my facilitators, actually found out that I will function better in the travel agency, the booking, the ticketing, booking of flights, the boats, the transportation, generally logistics. I think I will function very well in that aspect. The training we had here in Lagos State has been amazing. We have learned so much and we took a step further by going to Badagri Kingdom to have a practical example of all that we have been taught. And the outcome, the, the, the training we have been having has been so exponential, has been, the experience has been wow. Having exploited all these things and having experienced and um, trained by Google Africa, personally, as an economics and as an administrator, I want to go into top operator. Top operator is one that packages the thought together, is one that plans and executes. It's commonly said that all is well that ends well. The training ended in Boni, where the trainees put into practice some of the lessons they've spent the past two weeks learning. Together, they organized a cultural night showcasing some of Bonnie's remarkable cultural assets. Fitting closing ceremony and a word of certificates held at the charming Finima Nature Park, one of Bonnie's finest nature based attractions. This is something which is part of the Bonnie Dubai Initiative, which is a partnership between Nigeria and Wendy and Bonnie Kingdom. So um, I'll say that you consider yourselves privileged to be part of this uh, training which has given you uh, skills for life. So much fun in one package. Stand by now for travel tips on Google Africa. Here are some tips on how to enjoy yourself on a long bus ride. Number one. Bring fun things to do. Make sure you have enough to entertain yourself. Good things to bring include music player, books, tablet or laptop computer. Engage yourself. Look out through the window at the scenery or talk to other people. Keep a calm mentality about the bus ride. This is harder than it sounds, but when mustard, it is a big help in many areas of life. Avoid snapping at or arguing with fellow commuters for that will only make the trip dramatic and uncomfortable for everyone. Finally, when the bus does make a few stops, don't hesitate to get off and stretch your legs. 
Travel Tips is brought to you in conjunction with Gogi Africa Travel Club. Oh yes, it's about capacity building. And also to get new entrants and stakeholders equipped with the ever-changing demands of the tourism industry. Indeed, collaborate with Gogi Africa. Let's develop tourism in Africa. So until same time on the same station, you stay alive. <laughs>